Hello, and welcome back to Timber. Let's talk to this guy. Why, yes, it sure is nice. Why can't I see anything interesting? I'm such a loser! Cool. So, as long as we have Renoa, or... I think later on, Quistus works as well in our party, that guy will always give us a potion. Uh, so yeah. Last time, I believe we explored Timber a little bit, and now we have to head to the radio station, which is on the other end of this building. Hello, what can I do for you, honey? We want to look around. Uh... These are... These are the Battle Series. I've read all of them. Oh, hey, cool. Wasn't someone looking for that? Aha! Blizzga! Okay, uh, hello. What? Did you say I look like an artist? As a matter of fact, I am! Have you seen my work yet? It's a collection of photographs titled Jacket Over Skin, The Beautiful Woman Edition. It's a major sellout and we don't have any in stock. Interesting. My oh, man, why do Battle Series books sell so well? We're sure living in a terrible age. Oh, well as you know, the name of the company is Timber Maniacs. We are a publisher that was established 20 years ago. We used to publish a magazine called Tim Manny, short for Timber Maniacs. It was a compilation of freelance writing, letters, reports. The majority of fans wanted to become journalists. I joined the company because I wanted to become an editor for Tim M Manny. Times have changed. Nellie, yeah. <laughs> I'd say that's a very typical attitude for a teenager to take, actually. Squall hates it, guys. That's good advice. Uh... Found an old issue, an issue of Timber Manix. We finished reading it. Cool. Uh, now there was something else I wanted to ask this guy about, actually. Talk about Laguna. Recently, I had a strange dream in which I became a Galvanian soldier named Laguna. Actually, it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends had a similar experience, too. Oh no! What have I done? Right, I think we're done here. <laughs> Okay then. Ah, uh, these guys. Uh... 
I don't remember what I was talking with Renoa. Uh, I'll go with Thunder. Aha! Angelo! Get! Actually, I would have rather Angelo had not done that, to be honest. Oh well. Whatever. Not a big deal. Forest? Secret info number three. Timber was named for its rich vegetation. It used to be that we were surrounded by this beautiful forest. Now, I think there's a draw point. Oh, I don't see it, so maybe not. I thought there was a draw point around here. Oh, hey. Kinda, yeah. Uh, good to hear. Drink all you want from the faucet. Oh, don't. You don't have to hold back. It's just water. Uh, leave it alone. Wow, okay. Yeah, this seems quite small for five people. Although, I guess, admittedly, by North- that's by North American standards. Sure, okay, I'll check it. Good question. I mean, I'm trying to drink from the faucet, it's not working. Ah, whatever. This is the old man with the owl tears, which we should be able to drink as long as we don't steal from him, and we haven't stolen from him. Uh, but I can't get the stupid thing to work. Whatever. I don't need a heal anyway. It is actually not that important that I do that. Uh, by the way, can I, uh, no I cannot. Oh well. I want to go in here. Yep, yeah, well, we're trying to, anyway. <laughs> you know, couldn't we just, like, walk on the train tracks? Eh, uh, whatever. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, having a relationship where you can fight and sti still get along is good, but I th but at the same time, I think generally it's preferable to have a relationship where you don't fight a whole lot. <laughs> Please, please stop talking. Cool. Hey! <laughs> uh, this says so much. Hey, you do that again? How many times have I told you not to take money from people? I reduced the price from 1,000 kill. It's not about the money. I didn't raise you this way! I'm actually sort of impressed that the handstand thing is impressive. Uh, anyway, uh, enough diddle diddy dallying around. Let's uh, let's go to check out that pub. Hey, 
<laughs> that was too easy, man. For some country bumpkin, he sure has some good stuff. Better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. They saw me. And I saw them. The only way this could end is with two corpses at my feet. At least that seems to have, have been the pattern we've developed here into. <laughs> like I might have. Hmm. Well, whatever. Not a big deal. We got a fool card. Um, hmm. I can totally buy more tents now. But I don't need to buy them right now. Oh, whoops. Just, uh... Yeah, Squall, finish him off! I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. This is what happens when you don't work on the first video you record for a two-week period. You forget a couple things, and... And it's crap. Okay, so... Right. We want to go into the pub. Um... Uh, I came from Dulla to have a good time, and now! <laughs> Train's no longer running! Can't even stay at the stupid hotel because some stupid official! Crossed by the stupid soldiers! My precious card! It was stolen. This just hasn't been my day. Huh. They're doing all they're doing the best they can. It's the Galbanian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Right, so there's two ways we can get this guy to move. There's the obvious way. Or we can buy him drinks. To figure out what drink he wants, we can observe him. And talk to people in the bar. But no, we're we're gonna just do the obvious one. Jeez, and now I'm getting dished by some punk? Give me another drink! Yeah, no, we're just gonna give him the card back. Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks, you know what? I'm feeling generous. So you can you you can keep the card. You're not such a bad kid after all. And also, this one! I'll move out of the way now. Ooh, a tone bear. He can't even stand up. He definitely should not be drinking anymore. Like, he should probably be cut off. Uh Tonberry is a good card to have. No kidding. Hello, kids. We the resistance. Yep. Uh, let's save. Oh, nope. Let's save the game. And then up we go.
Up we go. Oh, this part's gonna be good. Yeah, that's... What's that saying? I can't quite read it. It's a little too small, a little too fast, and a little too blurry. It might just be random characters, actually. <laughs> Wondering. Presence in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now. We won't be able to storm the place, sir. So we can't just rush in. We gotta come. Okay, I gotta say, your old your old plan was like well, actually, the train plan, while an obvious trap was not really that bad a plan. Although it was needlessly complex. This plan was fucking terrible, though. <laughs> well, at least... At least she is aware of the fact that she will die if she tries to rush a room full of guards with the president of the state. Like, the actual leader. Yep, I guess. So it would seem. Wow, that's that's a little grim. I mean, it is, but well. Hmm. Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. Yeah, I'll tell you. How serious are you? Really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy? On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? Okay, actually, I gotta say, I really disagree with all, pretty much all of this criticism Squall's leveling. Um... A lot of it is just, frankly, petty, like the floor thing, and he's expert help. It makes sense for her to consult him. I guess, I guess it's sort of a culture class thing, though, like, how Bruno's group is acting, like, they definitely need to, they definitely could do to be a little better organized, but I think generally they're doing things the right way by by my cultural standards. <laughs> and anyway, uh, guess I got a little carried away. Also, Squall, then again. Squall is a bit of a petty jerk, so... Eh, anyway. I thought everything would work out fine when Seed came to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired. It's not like you're one of us. Let's see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? So, you guys probably think this was all a game for us. Well, it's not! We're serious. Okay, it's Selfie. And there goes Renoa. Are they? I guess so. Testing, testing, one, two, testing, testing. People of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible! 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Interesting. Oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. Ahem. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vinzer Delling. Ladies and gentlemen, President Delling! <laughs> Greetings! I am Vincer Delling, lifelong president of Galvania. Today, I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with the other nation's leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. The ambassador is the sorceress. Oh, uh, ha. Huh. Well, this is unexpected. Uh... Ha. I mean, it's sort of our business. Timber Team, are you watching? Get over here right now! You have permission, you need to help! I mean, that sort of spells it out for us, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, I should probably junction selfie. Uh, this is just darkness, right? No, that's silence. Uh, I should cure that. I don't. I don't have any healing items. <laughs> okay. Hey, um. Uh, do I have like some spare? No. No, I don't. You have some spare sunas, but you're also the one who is silenced. Ah, whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. If we if we get into battle, I'll just like throw a rem at her. <laughs> like if we get into a battle where it matters. We need to restrain him. Seriously, it's obvious, isn't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Oh, Cypher. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. Zell, no, don't do it, Zell. Don't do it, Zell! Please don't. Please. Zell, I love you, but sometimes you are the worst. <sighs> I mean, he says that, but he is dictator for life. So... 
Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, realistically, his, his successor would crush Garden under the pretext of, um, of, uh, well, as a pretext to, what, what I want to say, to solidify his rule. But, uh, anyway. Cypher, 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 and Zell, Zell, Zell. So, I mean, we, we may as well do the broadcast now, right? Uh, anyway. Poor, poor boy. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want to help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. You don't want to be a boy anymore. Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. Cypher, cypher, cypher. Also, we appear to have been inflicted with stop. Well, about that. <laughs> um, let's say yes. Okay, uh, on that note, I need to stop up here. So, join me next time when we, in all probability, escape from timber. Uh, or at least attempt to escape, because, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so, until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!